One of the most important areas of technology development in the telco world right now is that of digital support systems. The cutting edge operational and business support systems that will, in the coming few years, supersede traditional OSS and BSS models. That's not just my opinion, but also the collective view of the DSP leaders councillors, who in the results of a recent survey conducted by Telecom TV, highlighted developments in digital support systems as being of the utmost importance to service providers during the next three years. Now, one of the companies focused on the digital support systems needs of digital service providers, such as telcos, is Tatogi. And today I'm going to find out more about the company's latest developments from a new digital industry contact. So, Tatogi, I understand you're rolling out a new product called BSS Magic. Now, business support systems are an absolutely critical customer experience management component for any telco. There isn't a service provider in the world that doesn't rely on some combination of BSS systems in their customer engagement processes. But how big is the BSS market today? It's big, Ray, and it's growing. A business support system, or BSS, is a software suite that powers customer experiences for telecommunications companies, both MNOs and MVNOs. As you know, BSS covers a wide range of functionality, from CRM to order management, from product catalog to billing. Here's a surprising fact for you. There are roughly 350 to 400 BSS vendors active in the market today. I'm talking about high-end players like Amdocs or Netcracker, all the way down to smaller players like Aleppo and Telugu. With about 8,000 MNOs and MVNOs in the world, that's a lot of vendors fighting for customers. BSS has been around as long as there's been subscribers, and the last decade didn't see a ton of innovation. However, with the advances in technology like AI and the public cloud, there's been an invigoration of opportunity in the space. Vendors are updating their products to remove error-prone manual entry processes and working to add machine learning models to get deeper insights into the data. Consultants at Analysis Mason estimated the BSS space to be about $32 billion in 2022, and they project it will grow to $43 billion by 2028. So there's a lot going on in BSS. So yeah, with about 350 to 400 BSS vendors still offering thousands of products that are already active in the global market today, why does the telecom sector need yet another new vendor peddling yet another BSS solution? Good question, Ray. Short answer, because CSPs still have to spend a lot of money to get what they want from their BSS solution. And Totogi sees an opportunity to use AI to really change BSS for the better. There are five complaints telcos have with their BSS. At the top of the list, not surprisingly, is price. Number two, users struggle with the complexity of BSS products. The user interfaces are hard to operate and difficult to learn. Third, it's hard to connect with third-party solutions. Number four, users complain about BSS vendors that use outdated technologies and don't keep up with industry innovations. And finally, BSS lacks flexibility and customization options. It's a challenge to adapt the system to business processes, and making changes to meet evolving requirements requires extensive effort and additional cost. So Totogi thinks there's room for one more vendor to improve the BSS market. If someone could provide an affordable BSS that was easy to modify and a joy to work with, the telecom industry would go nuts for it. So how is Totogi BSS Magic aiming to overcome all of these issues? We're aiming to build the perfect BSS. Because of recent technological advances, now is the time. Our new BSS tool allows anyone to generate, from scratch, their own BSS. We use AI to write the code and using only your voice, you interact with an avatar, like me, to produce all the functionality and user interfaces you need to create your BSS to support your business. No need for RFPs or to pass business requirements to a software engineering team. Just use your words to build the BSS of your dreams. We're using AI to generate interfaces, code, and integrations. You can draw a picture of what you'd like the screens to look like, upload it, and it generates the screens for you. You describe the systems you need to integrate to, Salesforce, Zendesk, even Amdocs, and it can automatically connect to them, fully custom and at a low, low price, the best of both worlds. 
So, I mean, this all sounds a little bit sci-fi. I mean, how is all of this possible? What's the underlying technology that makes this work? Coming from Telco DR and Tatogi, you'll be shocked to find out that the public cloud has something to do with it. The public cloud gives us a software and infrastructure to easily deploy BSS solutions for customers. That's the easy part. But more importantly, it's really all about generative AI. Gen AI was huge last year. The capabilities of these tools are moving rapidly, and Gen AI is perfect for the BSS space, where tons of custom code and custom screens are created and maintained every day at a very high price. By adding co-pilots, avatars, code generation tools, and LLMs, you can really reduce the time it takes to produce applications, but more importantly, reduce the cost of maintaining these systems. Totogi has been working hard on proprietary retrieval augmented generation systems to build out a telco-specific BSS application builder. We've been building our own AI tools to be knowledgeable about BSS and the common customer journeys and integrations. Totogi's approach will change the landscape of BSS and telco. The big benefit is leveling the playing field between telcos with lots of resources in the form of people and money with others who need the same kind of functionality, but have never been able to afford a custom BSS like this before. This is going to be huge. Well, that really does sound like quite an industry advancement. So where can the industry see BSS magic in action? Is someone saying they want to see it live in action? Tatogi, I'll take it from here. I can't let AI do everything, Ray. Well, AI does look to certain to be the major talking point in Barcelona. Um, so where are Tatogi's human resources going to be located in the FIRA? We're so excited to unveil Tatogi's BSS magic and everything else we're planning to show at MWC. Tatogi has a great booth in Hall 2. And we want everyone to see BSS magic at the MBNO Summit on Wednesday, February 28th at 4 p.m. in Hall 8, Theater 4. I'll be building a BSS system on stage using BSS magic alongside our avatar, Tatogi, who you just met. And be sure to stop by our iconic party after the MBNO Summit. Last year, someone told me our parties feel like old school telco parties, which I don't know if that's a compliment or not, but I'll take it. We'll be providing transportation, so DM me on LinkedIn and on X at TelcoDR for an invite. I hope to see you there, Ray. Well, old school and parties uh, go together very well in my book, uh, Danielle. But, uh, you know, for, for those who are going to MWC and who'll go to the MVNO Summit, I guess there's one question they might want to know in advance, and that's whether BSS magic is something that, you know, once they've seen the demo, if they're interested, can they start talking to Totogi uh, and start to, to work with this code, work with this stack? Is this something that's commercially available now? Yeah, well, obviously, BSS Magic is a super aspirational vision, and it's a big vision. And, you know, with Gen AI tools literally changing every day, it's been a lot of work to keep up with all the changes and put it into the product. But we've been building BSS for years. We demoed an early prototype of this at MWC 21. Um, obviously, our big push with TM Form open APIs and, and building out the Tatogi APIs that you know, we publish on our website. They're available as part of charging as a service. And so it's been a slow and steady drumbeat in terms of what we really wanted to do with BSS. With Gen AI coming on in the last year, and, and let's say in the last really six months picking up steam, we're really putting together a lot of different concepts and putting it into the BSS. So it's, it, it's just really acceler accelerating um, our capabilities and, and what's ready. So I'd say, yes, it's usable. It's going to be usable for digital brands, MVNOs, some greenfield use cases. But the vision is huge. We do anticipate that um, you know tier two and tier one MNOs will eventually replace their BSS and love working with a system that's fully customized. Um, they own the code, and the only thing they pay for is when they're using the Tatoki APIs in the back end. And so we feel creating this application generator is really going to change the landscape of BSS in the industry. So super excited. OK, well, I look forward to seeing a little bit of magic and you as well, Danielle, on the show floor at Barcelona. See you there. Awesome. Yeah, can't wait to see you, Ray. Take care.